Hello and welcome to Brewster Shorts. My name is Bruce Devlin and today we're going to be talking about MPEG-4. So what is MPEG-4? Well, those of you who've been following MPEG will know that MPEG-1 was all about compressing video into audio CDs. MPEG-2 was all about interlaced broadcasting and getting video out onto satellite, cable and terrestrial. And MPEG-4 was all about getting better compression bit rates. Now MPEG-4 Part 2 was the first of the MPEG-4 video specifications and it's still around today. Things like Sony's Studio Profile are based on MPEG-4 Part 2. But the big project that really made the difference for MPEG-4 was what's known as AVC or Advanced Video Coding. This is also known as H.264. This is the ITU name for it and this is the MPEG name for it. Basically, H.264 and AVC are just better tools for compressing video. Whereas MPEG-2 chopped the video up into 16x16 16 16 macro blocks and then predicted them from I-frames to P-frames to B-frames, H.264 has got lots of different sized blocks, which gives you better coding efficiency for different picture types. It also has in-block or inter-block uh, smoothing, which gets rid of the artifacts between those blocks, so you don't get those blocking artifacts you do on MPEG-2 terrestrial broadcasting. And it has a bunch of other tools in there that allow you to get better compression bit rates without introducing visual degradations. So by and large, H.264 will give you twice the compression of MPEG-2 for the same visual quality. If you're watching internet streaming, you're watching that. This has been one of Bruce's shorts. Thank you very much for watching us.